Welcome back to another clay video. Today we are going to create Esther Winchester in her final hot dog phase from Cuphead. I hope you're all having a spamtastic day. Today we're going to start out with this maybe delicious, maybe nutritious can of spam. I had this stuff once maybe about 10 years ago, and it was one of the most disgusting things I've ever seen come out of a can. And what I'm really hoping for is it to come out in a nice solid block. You know it's good when there's a nice little slime drip coming down the side of it. I don't like to waste food so I'm at least going to try it, but I can almost guarantee I am not going to like this. In case you have no idea what's going on at this point and how this is a clay video, the final phase of this boss is inside of a can of hot dogs. So instead of making a can out of clay, I thought it would be fun to use an actual can, and Spam happens to be the perfect shape for the can we need. This label was created and given to me by one of my subscribers, so thank you for that, and here's a shout out to their Instagram page. I'm going to use some super glue to put the lid back in place. And in case you're wondering, yes, I did wash out the can, although it still slightly smells like Spam. This is going to be our meat, so let's start forming it into some sausages. So I'm kind of combining the last two phases of the boss because the final phase is literally just a can with hot dogs shooting out of it, and the phase before that is an actual creature made out of hot dogs. So I'm going to get the best of both worlds and make Esther hot dog inside of the can. Taking some white clay, we can create Esther's shorts. Which, if you kind of follow the design of the character, these were pants, and similar to, you know, a werewolf or hulk, they got shredded and stretched out when they transformed. Although in this case, our boss is actually turning smaller than the first form, so it doesn't really make sense for the pants to be all shredded. Either way, here's our nice little pair of shorts, and we can get those onto the legs. Using wires for armature is still somewhat foreign to me, I've only used this in a small handful of creations, but I think I get the basic concept. Or maybe not. I think this is just going to work best with one wire. Ideally, I don't know if you even need a wire inside of the body, especially if you hold it up in the oven with, say, a mug behind it, which is what I'm going to do anyway, but I guess better safe than sorry. Let's start adding on some buttons onto the shirt. Although I'm unsure if you're actually going to be able to see half of these details, I decided on creating everything just in case. We have a nice red wrapping for the belt. And now let's create a nice bright yellow belt buckle. To make sure it's nice and flat, I cut it straight off of the block and then we can hollow out the center and trim up the sides. And now we have a nice belt buckle, so let's get that into place. Moving on to the upper body, we're going to create the sleeves in the same way we created the shorts. And in case you're wondering, yes, cutting into clay with scissors is a very satisfying feeling. Now we need to create many more sausages for the arms. So these are going to be our little meatballs, which we can roll into a sausage. A big reason for doing the arms this way is to avoid using wires, but I also want our character to be in a nice action pose, kind of busting out of the can. So since the arms are resting on different parts of the can, we don't have to worry about wires and everything's kind of just going to stay in place in the oven. With the body complete, let's move up onto the head. First, let's hollow out a nice spot for the mouth. I kind of wanted the mouth to look like it was in shock and horror, more so than angry and ready to fight. I mean, just imagine if you got turned into a bunch of hot dogs. You'd probably be startled too, and maybe a little bit hungry. After placing the white part of the eyes, I'm going to stay on the white clay for now and work on the horns. And 
And now we can move to the black clay and start creating the eyes. As I say in every Cuphead video, these look like Pac-Man. I'm sure you get the idea by now, but I really don't know what else to say about the eyes. Let's get those into place, and using pretty much the smallest worm I could roll out, I'm creating these little eyelashes. Moving on to the bandana. Something odd I realized about this is this boss is actually wearing two bandanas. At first I thought it was kind of just the bandana's ripples, but no, it's definitely two bandanas on top of each other. It's a weird fashion statement, but I think I approve. Let's add in some nice little folds and wrinkles. And on the back we can work on the tie. First I've just added this little ball, and then two kind of little teardrop shapes. And I think that looks like it's tied off in the back. Now, using a very bright blue, we will create the hat. If you watched my last Cuphead video of Chip's Bed Again, this is pretty much the exact same thing. After getting the basic shape of the hat, I've used tools to kind of smooth everything out and combine the pieces together. Let's add in a nice bright red stripe, and we can remove it from the table to fold up the sides. Now we have one little detail on the bottom which is a nice little pink flower. Let's top it off with a yellow center, and now we are ready to get baked. After baking, let's take some super glue and attach the hat onto the back. And that is our final detail. So here it is, Esther Winchester as a hot dog. Thank you to all of my patrons over on Patreon for helping me make these videos possible. Also, if you want to see all of the other Cuphead things I've made, you can find a playlist at the end of this video. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.